Animal Channel presents The Crocodile Stalker. <clears throat> Traveling around the world in search of exotic wildlife, then annoying the crap out of them. Now, here's Steve. Thank you, love, and good day. Your old pal Steve here. And today we're hot on the trail of a truly endangered species. Only a few short years ago, it numbered in the millions. Today, that number has dropped dramatically. Their scientific name is Gullibilis Ignoramus Liberalis, or the Big Red Obama Supporter. Back in 2008, the country was flush with these silly little critters. But after the last few years, they vanished in record numbers. Some starved, some moved back to Mexico to find work, but a vast majority of them simply died of embarrassment. I'm just afraid if we don't catch one before the election, we'll never see them again. So we're bloody lucky to have found one lurking about. <laughs> there. Did you hear it? That's him. Oh, poor little rascal is probably lonely. We can't miss this opportunity. So to improve our chances, I brought some things that'll be sure to lure him in. I've got a copy of Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals, a Russian flag, a book of food stamps, an Obamacare waiver, an SEIU membership, a 12-pack of deadly mercury vapor light bulbs, a gallon of ethanol, an extra small It's All Bush's Fault t-shirt, a Koran, an autographed picture of Karl Marx, and of course, a copy of the Constitution. Already shredded. And the piece de resistance is a life-size replica of President Obama's backside. That's the capper. When our little fella goes to put his nose in there, and he surely will, the trap will be sprung and we'll have him. Crikey, he's nearly upon us. Let's get out of sight. Just look at him. I've never seen one up close. Kind of pathetic looking. Nervous, eyes darting every which way. What a curious little bugger. Wow, he's going bonkers over our little cachet of liberal treats. With those tiny little hands, it's taken him a while. And yes, as I suspected, jackpot. he put the food stamps in his pocket. Oh, he's picked up the scent of Obama's backside. There he goes. His nose is getting closer. Closer. It's in now. Got him. Oh, wow, look at him wiggle. Poor little guy never stood a chance. I sprinkled a little of President Obama's favorite cologne, false prophet, all over the place. They fall for it every time. Oh, listen to him bellow. We better tag him and let him go before the methadone clinic empties out to come to his rescue. Uh-oh. Here comes a herd of freebius hebius jebius on the garden variety Occupy Wall Streeter. And you can tell they're pretty upset. They've even stopped pooping in the park to help their friend. They don't look too happy that we've captured the Obama voter. Without him, they might have to work for a living. All right, now, fellas, simmer down. Here's your little buddy. Now, hold on a second. There's 25 of you and only one of me. You blokes wouldn't take advantage of those odds, would you? I guess they would. Thankfully, I was ready for this. I've taken the precaution of having a group of folks from the job fair standing by. <laughs> and if that's not enough to run them off, I've given them all soap and water to hand out. Ah, <sighs> Well, the freeloaders didn't like that one bit. Whew. I can't believe I made it through an entire episode relatively unscathed. Until next time, this is your old pal Steve saying, I'm standing on a fire ant mound. <laughs> Tune in again next week for another episode of The Crocodile Stalker. Ah, why do I wear flip-flops? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>